Hello again YouTube, this is Meter D Green here. I'm back with another video for you all. This is going to be a video for the action figures for the American version of uh, Res QQ Sentai Go Go 5, otherwise known as Rescue Sentai Go Go 5. So in America, these guys were known as Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. So here we have the six Lightspeed Rangers. I'll get more into that in a second. So from left to right, we have pink, blue, red, green, yellow, and titanium. So here we are with pink. It looks very nice. Nothing on the back. Here. And and there they all go down. So here's blue. So all the men have the light up feature, but the my batteries do not work anymore. Next up is red. They all look the same, but they all have their separate helmets, but it's just pretty much the same thing. Here we are with green. Yellow. Yellow in America was transformed into a female character, even though in the Japanese version she was a male character. He was a male character. And here we have the Titanium Ranger. And there we are. So far articulation. I'm gonna pick this guy up. The head does not move because of the light up feature. Our shoulders. Single elbow joint. A very tight wrist swivel. No waist swivel. Lights can go up. Not. They can't go back too far. Single knee joint. And that's about it. For articulation, these figures are very, very limited. So here's yellow. So the, ye the yellow rangers and the pink rangers can have their heads go all the way around. Same thing here, shoulder, single elbow joint, wrist swivel, legs can go forward and all the way back. So you have a knee, a knee joint here and then a thigh swivel, well a knee rotation here, which is more than what the guys have. And here is my comparison to a uh, custom-made Yellow Ranger. Eh. I tried to scour the internet to try and find a male version of Go Yellow and it just... I couldn't find one so I had to make one of my own. So... Don't make fun of me, but... <laughs> I put a sticker here. I try to make sure to keep the lines even. Here he is from the back. It's a little bit of a mess up here with the back, but it's still here. It still has its functions, sort of with the legs, not so much with the arms. Well, I'm happy with the guy. I made him with my own two hands and I'm happy with him. 
And quickly, let's delve some more into the Titanium Ranger. So this guy does not exist in the Japanese footage, which was, I, I guess I didn't notice as a kid because of the fact that the footage would change. But yeah, so he was not in the Japanese footage at all. He's a completely American character. So for his articulation, oh, what? Alright, the batteries in this one still kind of work. So no head rotation, same thing, shoulders, single elbow joint, wrist swivel, no waist swivel, legs, single knee joints, no knee, no knee swivel, just the knee joint. So here they all are. I had to reset them back up again because of the domino effect that we saw earlier. I like these figures. I really do like this particular season. It was really entertaining for me to watch it. The Super Sentai footage was, in my view, better. The original six that are posted here, they were in a box set and the box set had also uh, come with weapons and other things. I really don't care about the weapons. They're still in the packaging All I care about are the figures This was supposed to be a short video of the figures that I just had lying around in my basement and That's all for now. Thank you for watching if you were interested and if not then I'll see you again in the next one Hopefully I'll have something better to show you all. Bye